Hi, this is Rick Sandberg. I'm a senior applications engineer for Hawkridge System in our Portland, Oregon office. For this blog, I'm going to discuss the basics of the new wipeout command in SOLIDWORKS Electrical. This drawing command allows you to cover over or block out specified areas on a drawing, or wipe it out. So first of all, where is it located? Being a drawing tool, it's under the Drawing tab of the command ribbon, under the Others drop-down. So what documents can we use this on? Really any of them, unless it's something that we've dropped in with the data file command, such as a PDF document. Other than that, pretty much any of our document types. So how does it work? It actually works very similar to the polyline tool that's right above it. If I select it, I click to set node points for a polyline. In this case, um, it will always create a closed polyline, which is a little different than the polyline tool, which can create open ones. But once I've drawn it, then I can right click to finish it, and it knocks out whatever, um, whatever object I've drawn over. Now this does have a border that I can show or not show, and I can get to that with right clicking on the buttons in the bottom right hand corner to get to my drawing parameters. It's under there show wipeout frames. I can turn that on and see the frame of any wipeout objects that I have. And that allows me to move it around and position it wherever I want it. So how does this works by actually um, filling this polygon with the drawing background color. So what happens if you change that drawing background color? That's a really good question. Actually what happens is it changes along with the background color, although it does need a refresh. So that begs the question, how do you change the background color? You might think it's under projects, but it's not. It's under tools. This is a system level setting. So if you change it here, every one of your drawings and all of your projects will be changed. And here's a little tip. If I go into the browse for this background color, the nice little off white color that they have by default is not saved in the palette. So I highly recommend you click on this define custom colors and add this off-white color to your palette so you can get back to it if you want to uh, make a choice that everybody hates like a nice pink background for all your drawings and they go ah no we can't handle that switch it back Notice that this hasn't updated. If I right click, turn the frame on or off, it will update and then you can see it updates with that new color. Let's get back from our mistake and go select our saved palette color of our off-white. Yay, much better. Toggle my uh, show wipeout frames and it goes back to the right color. All right, that's a quick overview of the wipeout tool. Thanks for tuning in.